channel it's your girl Michaela, and welcome back if you are new hello hi my name is Michaela, and welcome back to my channel so today we are doing this beautiful look that i have on my face right now it is gorgeous this little butterfly look very pretty so it was a little we had a little tough trials and everything during this look but it is gorgeous make sure y'all stay tuned for this rest of this look all right so now we're just gonna take our duo lash glue and get it open and put that all over our lash we are gonna do it on one side of my face obviously but we might do a different color and we're just gonna coat that lash glue in our brow and we want this brow to stay so we're gonna comb it upward we're really comb it to make sure it's flat. That's all you're really doing. You feel like you need extra layer glue? Go ahead and put the extra layer glue on. I ain't mad because I'm gonna need extra layer glue myself. Cause I have thick brows. So when you have thick brows, you're gonna need an extra layer really. And we don't need no hair shown. Now most people do use, what's that? Elmer's glue I think, like the kids glue. That we all used before. There's nothing wrong with using that. It's just. I would just prefer eyelash glue. Because it's really almost glue. Really safe for your skin. Like is it just. Is it safe for your skin? But. <laughs> yeah so. We're going to let that dry down. And. I'll be back. So next we are going to use the. Kiss concealer to cover that up. Cover this whole brow up. You don't want no brow shown at all. Like at all in this whole thing. So we're going to use our beauty blender and just press that into the brow like this. Just press that in. If you feel like you need a, another layer of concealer, go ahead. I think I am... Let me sh make sure. I'm going to use another layer. Why not? Why not? There's nothing wrong with using another layer. You can't see my mouth moving. But <laughs> there's nothing wrong of using another layer. And this, we really want that brow to be no brow at all we don't want that brow to be seen just like that <clears throat> if you do see me looking over again is my monitor i'm looking at the monitor and everything making sure everything's good all right next is we're gonna sketch out the butterfly so now we're just going to take this small brush right here and go in with the, what is it called? The CCB, oh, the CC Beauty uh, for, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the 12 color palette. It looks like this without the top off. Very pretty. So we're going to take this white, right, oh, that's not white. <laughs> Take this white here with the small brush and just go in. So, now let's sketch it. So how I want the butterfly to look is like the bigger wing coming in here, out here, and then here. Hopefully that made sense. Like, okay, just... Let me sketch it out and I'll be back. First, before we do anything, we are going to use the Fit Me uh, powder and press that into the brow so the brow won't move. Like, really press it in there so the brow would not move. Like, really press it in there. It's okay if it looks a little wonky. That part will definitely be covered up and with the butterfly so if you need more just go with more and just 
press that in there just like that Okay, so now we're gonna take this flat brush that already has my paint on it obviously and we're just gonna color it in really it's fine if it looks messed up right now it's fine i got it on my bonnet whoop de do but it's fine i'm just gonna paint it in but really just really make sure it gets elaborated up with the paint Right, so therefore this is the butterfly that i have mapped out and it is gonna be a little jiffy to get that white paint out your lashes when people say don't put white paint in your lashes don't. <laughs> so let's set that with some aerospawn powder and clean it up so we use a big fluffy brush like this i just got it and got a stain on it already oh well it just really just place it everywhere really and if it's fine it's fine if it gets everywhere we're gonna clean it up Whew. just like that you don't want this to go nowhere nowhere just like that so then we're just gonna take this Q-tip and just map out the whole thing. It has water on it. Just gonna map out where I want to remove the extra powder.
Okay, so we're gonna take this palette, Beauty Glaze Color Fashion, and we're gonna take that pink that I'm showing you right now with a flat brush that looks like this, and just pack it on there, pack it on the lid, really. And we're gonna do pink here in the corner, blue, purple in like the middle area, and like blue on the outer. And maybe like a dark blue to really fuse that in. I don't know. <laughs> but let's try it out. Pigment? Where? Where? Pigment who? Pigment. Mm -mm -mm. So really just packing it in there. I'm not really doing much of blending. I'm just really packing it. Just get and make sure you get every white spot covered up. Just like that. So yeah. Just really pack that in for right now. We're really not gonna blend, like I just said. So this corner is going to be very tricky. Y'all, this palette I already show you is a Michaela palette. Hey, hey. I like her when she were not lying. I don't want to put no drama in this video. But yeah. So we are going to use that Michaela palette. I think this is the part two palette. I don't have the part one palette sadness. But we are going to take that purple I just, showed, um, just showed you. It's called Pat Rice. And we're going to take that in the middle parts of the eye the butterfly and we're gonna take that same but the pat the pigment on this palette y'all look at that uh, but we're gonna take that same brush and just pack it in the middle no blending yet just pack and there is fallout but it is fine Just pack it upward. YouTube videos when I do show different kind of vlogs and everything. Make sure y'all go watch that. And also make sure you follow me on all my social media pages. Why? Because I just posted another TikTok and it is bomb. I did brow, blonde <laughs> brows, and it is so gorgeous. That's my first time really doing it. So therefore, starting to get the hang of it. So yeah. Let's get back into this brow. So you see how I lifted my brow to make sure it gets under that. One thing about this palette makes noise. But anyways, to get under that, like the creases of that brow. So now we're going to take that blue shade that I'm showing you now. It's called No Harsh Lines. As she says, no harsh lines. Anyways, we're going to take that with that same packing brush and really dug in there. So it can look like this. The pigment. Okay. It's the pigment for me. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I get overexcited a lot. Move this bonnet out the way so y'all can see. I do get overly excited about a lot of things. So we are going to take it. We're going to use this whole blue and the whole, like the whole 
like white part and then we're gonna take a fluffy brush and with a darker not dark dark blue hat matching your nails nails done by me anyways um i'm gonna take that dark or not dark dark blue but like a darker blue and diffuse it i'll show you when i get to that part obviously but yeah we love pigment over here Like I said, it's fine if we go over the butterfly. We are going to clean it up. And I'm be holding this pillow. It's making my hand hurt. You might see like it's just a straight line we're gonna blend it and then everything i just want to make sure that pigment is there where it's hitting all the blues all the white i'm sorry All right, so therefore, we are done. We're going to take a clean brush. Well, let me, I'll be back first. And <laughs> let me figure out what I want to, how I want to do this. We're going to take this brush here. And we're going to dip, dip into both colors. And like really blend them in on the brush. And just put it in the middle. And diffuse it. like that you see that line went away and I'm going to use that brush cleaner I showed you in the last video and we're going to dip into the purple and that blue I used to get this color and we're going to diffuse it so we can get rid of them harsh lines like that because we don't like harsh lines over here do we Mm. At least I don't. Y'all can. But me? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You see, we lifted up some of the brow, which is gonna push that on. Yeah. Just get rid of them harsh lines. Like that. So you see that packiness right there. We're going to go back in with that flat brush and pull that back together. Set. The brush that looks like this. And we're going to use 2021. That's in her palette. And we're just gonna smoke out the end. And it's fine if it looks a little messy right now. It's fine if it looks a little messy. Cause you're gonna clean it up anyway. I'm using this angle brush because like it gets like that smaller part because I don't want the whole thing to look like that blue. But also make sure it's on that 
butterfly area. And just fan it inward. That's gonna be so cute, y'all. I'm telling you, trust the process. Just trust the process at this point. Cause that's gonna look so cute. Alrighty, that is looking gorgeous. Very gorgeous. Gonna go back in there with that blue a little bit because we did blend it in a lot. But yeah. So, that's really it to this butterfly right now. We're going to clean it up. Well, we're going to really clean it up when we do our base makeup and everything because we still have a whole nother side. So, yeah, the butterfly is looking really pretty, really, really pretty. I'm really proud of myself right now because y'all know, like, butterflies, like, first of all, me with details takes, like, a little longer time because I'm still, like, processing and everything with doing detail makeup. So, yeah, um, let's do liner like make the butterfly become an actual butterfly so the liner we're not really going to use liner because i don't have no liner surprisingly because i can't find it obviously so therefore we're just going to take this black right here and the same small brush just cleaned it off and swirl that in and create your butterfly you can use any um you can use any like design you want to use going to use the same design I used early on the other butterfly so yeah so if you're gonna take this brush and follow first of all we're gonna outline it again just follow <laughs> So we're gonna take a q-tip dip it in some water i have right here and clean that up and that's the outline of your butterfly for right now so we're gonna go into more details and yeah so hopefully i can do it <laughs> All right, so I figure out how I'm gonna do the swoops. <laughs> so therefore, we're gonna swoop. We're gonna take this gap here, like leave a little gap right there, and go here and like that. And just bring it in more, and swoop and swoop. right okay let's do the bottom <laughs> all right for the bottom part we're gonna use jewels and everything so therefore let's go into the decorating i know this is a little plain butterfly but just trust the process because it gets better all right so now we're gonna take this small angled tool and we're gonna dip in the white and we're gonna give a butterfly detail. So we're just gonna give it polka dots here and just keep going. 
and if it starts to fade out just use more white And we're going to do those lines that we did. So see, it's starting to come together. It's starting to look like a butterfly. So that is the design of the butterfly for right now. And now we're just going to add gems. So now we're going to do gems. And we're going to take this part of the tool brush. And we're going to use the bigger gems that I just showed you. And some duo glue. So you want to take your duo glue and map out where you want the gems. So I'm going to do three here. And I'm going to do five down here. So one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, like right there. And we're gonna take that smaller part of the brush and stick them on there. Come on now, <laughs> get on there. Uh oh, we lost one. Oh, I'm missing one. And those are the tools I'm gonna do. I got paint on my finger. And I got paint on the thing. But it's fine, we can clean it off. I think I'm gonna put some more here. So let me do that and I'll be back. Alright, so we're gonna use the Juvia's Place liquid eyeshadow. And we're gonna put that on the outer part of the butterfly to make the butterfly more shimmer. So like right here where the buoys are. And just pat that in. And pat that in more. So you see we got black going. Fine, we're going to clean that up. And yeah. Alright, so we're going to take the Michaela's Highlighting Palette. We're going to use Balm and Starstruck. And we're just going to mix those two together like this. Can y'all see that? Y'all can't even see me doing it. Mix those two together. Now these are really like glittery. So we're going to put 
put that where we put basically on top of the gems because we want it to be sparkled. Really glitter butterfly. Y'all know this is my favorite, favorite primer out of all time. Favorite primer is like very, it grips the foundation. Your foundation is not going to go anywhere, baby. Like, look at the stickiness of the, look at that. Yeah, your face is not going to go anywhere. Not sure I can see that I've done on my hand. <laughs> Get this big forehead. Ah, I gotta be careful on where I am. I keep looking at my monitor so I won't mess up. So I won't mess up my um butterfly. So now we're gonna use the putty. Elf putty primer. And we're gonna use the in my nose area because that's where I do get the most oily now we're going to set that with Aerospawn I'm going to take the butt of a beauty blender oh that's a lot and we're going to Set my nose. Basically where I put that putty primer because we don't want it to get no, we do not want that at all. I am not going to do my under eyes. So yeah. So let's just pick foundation. And the foundation we're gonna use is the Juvius Place foundation. And I am in a shade Angula. I think I pronounced it right. If not shade 140 and we're going to take that on the back of our hand and distribute distribute it all over the face now this is a very full coverage foundation i really don't need a lot of it at all really don't but I don't know if it's me. I haven't used this foundation in so long. Like, in, like, very long. It looks lighter on camera. But I promise. It's your girl shade. So, we're going to blend that out with a beauty blender. I'm gonna show y'all. Oh, I'm gonna show y'all what I do. Show that forehead. <laughs> so next is concealer. I'm gonna take the NYX Can Style Won't Stop in the shade. Cappuccino. I think this is the lighter shade. I didn't think I grabbed the other shade. No, this is the right shade. Having little doubts right there. But we're going to conceal the regular way how we normally conceal. I didn't even know I got black stuff on my forehead. But it's fine. And we're going to let that dry down some more. And we're going to 
contour. This is Ellie Girl contour in the shade Taffy. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. That's a lot. It's fine. You can tell this big forehead of mine. Hey! Jawline. We don't want no jawline at all. I make your double chin right and then just put it in there. We're gonna contour our nose after we're done blending the concealer out. Take this brush right here and just contour my face. You see, I did not contour my other side because I really didn't need to. Well, I could. I'm gonna just use the rest of it that is on the brush. What contour can do to your face, baby. What it can do to your face. Oh my gosh. Let me get that chin. You definitely get this forehead. Because no forehead wear. That's why I need it to be given. Forehead wear. <laughs> like that. Like you can't see a forehead. Now we're going to blend out the concealer with a don't want a beauty blender. I don't know what I'm gonna do so. So I'll take this angled brush here and blend out that concealer. See we use dry down gives more coverage. Maybe too much coverage because this I think this does dry down very fast. And I was not thinking at all. Normally, I really don't think sometimes. I just do. Which is a little problem I have, but. Who cares? <laughs> Beautiful. Just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, next is brows. I'm going to do the off camera, then I'll be right back. All right, so now we have that brow done. We are going to now go on this side of the face and use that flat brush right here. And some concealer, the darker shades in the concealer. To match my skin tone and we're going to clean the, the butterfly up so yeah I'm most definitely in my hairline. So this is how it looks. Very cute. We're gonna blend it out with a small brush. See, now it looks more better and cleaner. You just have to trust the process. I am gonna go back with that black liner and give it more of a swoop so we can look like actual butterfly. Now it's time to set the face with that same concealer that I did blend, not concealer, the same powder that I did use to block out my brows. I 
now you see how like that butterfly after you clean it up it looks good that's all you had to do was just trust the process that's all you gotta do is trust the process i don't know what i just did <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna add some more. It's the Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Deep 35. So now we are powdered down a little bit. We're gonna use the Fit Me. What's this? Powder foundation. I'm gonna take a brush, a fluffy brush like this, and just swirl it in there. And just really set my whole face with it. So now we are a little set. We are going to bronze. We're going to bronze the face with the Juvia's Duo Palette shape, Deep Dark, the Duo Palette. You just take this angle brush here and bronze the face. I use both of them and we're gonna just tap it in there because I do want the whole face to look a little snatch. Now they're looking a little bronze. Then we have some color to the face. Now let's do blush. Everybody knows that's my favorite. Use the Juvia's Place palette. And we're going to use the this color. Where is it? This color and this color. And mix those. And I, mean, uh, I do use blushes and everything. And we're going to put on the higher parts of our face. Just like that. And we're gonna really like use the blush because like I said everybody knows that's my favorite part <laughs> yes we want that pigment to come out so I can drift that away because like this blush I see that but yeah I see that mm. and we put some on the nose like the rest of us on the brush because we don't want the face to look over powering you know just love it just gotta just gotta love blush just gonna blend it out really well so it won't look as harsh can you see that uh oh <laughs> uh oh Later, we're going to use the Juvia's Place palette with this color right here. Grab some on this kind of brush right here. It's like a little small, little dense brush. Whoa. Okay. That's how we... Oh, okay. That's how we show it. Put some in the brow bone. Since we did not do... Since we did not do... um, What did we not do? Oh, eyeshadow. I'm gonna take this sponge here that already has like a little bit of um, aerospine. I'm gonna take that brush and really the the highlighter and really blend that out because I did not mean to use that much. I'm gonna put some on the tip of my cupid bow. I remember people used to do that. Am I the only one that used to? No, I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not the only one that used to do that. But y'all remember when? Okay, y'all see that? That's better. Because, man. 
Let's add a little bit more for our eyelids with a, what is this called? A curler? I don't know. I just really curl our lashes. Curl, curl, curl. Just like that. We're gonna use, this is, I just got this. This is the Milani Lash, well, mascara. High rated. Now this wand, can y'all see that? This wand does give me like a little iffy, but hopefully, Hopefully it doesn't like you know. Oh, the cat's fighting outside. Uh oh. <laughs> but hopefully it doesn't like really mess up everything. If not, we're gonna put a lash over it anyway. So let's see how it gives with my lashes. Cause I have very. I should really go get that L'Oreal. <laughs> that L'Oreal. Let me stop messing with my girl. But y'all, people is like really going at her. Understandable. And now, you know who's coming back? Jeffy Star. James Charles. James Charles been back, but he hasn't been back because we all know that incident that he had out of my business. But yeah, Jeffrey is making a comeback. Okay. So with the last look, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Just never really used the one that look like this. Just really want to make sure they're really coated <laughs> with mascara. We're gonna try to do, so I'm gonna put this definitely in front of the camera and try to do the bottom. That's just, I'm gonna use. Very pretty. I got these off of Amazon. If you look on my makeup organization video, I just posted it today. Obviously we're not gonna post this video today. Well, the makeup video today. But you'll see how why it looks like this and everything. I got these off of Amazon. I can link them if I find them. Find them, I will link them. So we're just gonna put the lashes on and I'll be back. Now I'm gonna take a liner, a brown liquid liner. Well, the butter gloss in the shade Lava Cake. And I'm just going to use my lip brush and line my lips. That's what the brush looks like. I'm sorry, I didn't show you before. Focus. There you go. And I want to have a cute this bow today. So, we're going to do that. I said lava. I meant to say, this is a contour shade. LA girl contour shade because I can't find if I'm really dark enough. How I'm on my lips, and then we're gonna take the Michaela lip gloss, it looks like this very cute packaging. It does not have no shade, but I like how it comes in. It comes like this you have to push the button, pull out, and twist out, which is very pretty. We're going to put that in the middle and mix it up. Then we're going to take the Butter Gloss shade in Mahogany. I think that's Mahogany. Yes, Mahogany. And hold that right on that part. I'm gonna take a drugstore lip gloss 
Looks like this. You're gonna hood that all over. Going to set the whole face with the NYX Matte Finish Spray. Let that dry down. <coughs> Why do I keep doing it in my mouth? Okay, so this is the final look. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can get every video that I do post. I feel very cute, very, this turned out really good and everything, like, I am very proud of myself, so, peace.